Microtia is easy to detect and the, the anomaly does not worsen with time. However, it also does not improve. Um, in cases of severe microtia where the ear is absent or very small, uh, when a child is older, an ear can be built or developed or constructed uh, in various ways. Some of the ways that uh, the tried and true methods of constructing an ear are to use rib cartilage at an older age, which is then contoured and made into an ear construction and placed beneath the skin on the side of the head. And this is usually the first stage of an ear construction. Uh, the ear then, the lobule can then be moved back, the ear can be contoured, and eventually the ear is lifted away from the head for the third stage. And the appearance of the ear, depending on who does this and, and their experience level and also the, 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 the quality of the skin, can be quite excellent uh, and sometimes can be quite average, to be frank. Other options for ear construction include using alloplastic materials uh, under the skin, uh, which are done in some centers, although not here. I don't know if we're going to put that or not. And uh, other options are using uh, prosthetics that can be affixed to the ear either through glue or through uh, bone affixed um, um, posts. Um, usually with treatment of microtia from an autologous rib reconstruction, this is done at a minimum of six years of age and ideally at an older age. And the rate limiting step for this is the quality and the content and the size of the rib cartilage that's being used. 